Hey there folks, it's Thomas Steed here. It's been a minute since I've done one on these because, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing another one on these ones until I hit the two-year mark. And so, here they are. This is the progression of my T1 Commanders over the course of two years. I just barely cleaned them up and oiled them today so the brown's a little it's a little rich right now and obviously I'm using the Obanoff's grease it's probably been a good six months since I you know greased them I took a minute because I had I put a lot into them during the first year because I was still messing with a lot of water and stuff like that and I just wanted to make sure they were protected and you know now it's been a year and I've only had to grease them twice I think the other reason is so that I could be a little more prepared for whenever I actually successfully get something into the Patina Thunderdome because I would love to actually take part in the Patina Thunderdome at some point. <clears throat> take a look at the backs. Now let's see. Oh, that's wearing a little bit on the out, outer edge on that boot. This one dead center and that's good because this is the foot that I used to uh, pronate I used to step like this instead of like this if that makes sense because usually I'll try and you'd be landing just slightly on the outside coming forward and then rotating off of the front so this one is pretty close to what a lot of people standardly do on their step. This one's square on, so that's good that I've got this one squared on. I'd like to start getting that when I have to change it. I'll, maybe I'll have them set this slightly different to maybe have them set that one to center. But as you can see, I mean, in two years, that's about the only spot that I'm getting down to the bottom of that that tread. That's doing pretty darn good. So, I mean, I already made it past what I thought I was going to for even just having, you know, a hill cap replacement on them. But, let's try and get... It's good side view. Nice front view. Lineman patch. Really glad with how this boot rolls. And this one not looking as gnarly as it did back in the day it's kind of softened out right through there where that weird buckle I think next time I get a pair I might even go a little bit wider I mean I'm not like rolling or anything but I am over time I've gotten wide here and with the toe cap I think it's that one. No, it's actually this one that is the on the inside. I've rubbed kind of a little spot on the inside of there. And it's not too bad. I mean, it at first when it first started happening, it was bugging me, but I think it's just gotten to the point where it's just good enough. But yeah. 
some beautiful creasing and like I you know initially planned these tones are just slightly different so it's not like a straight black boot but it's not like a straight brown boot and um, before I, I could have shot a video before I probably should have shot a video before I cleaned them up and everything but they when they look dirty and stuff too the tones match just as well too like I start getting kind of like a little bit of the same brown that you see over here throughout here and like across here and so yeah it, I, I'm really happy with the choice that I made <clears throat> with the T1s built the way that I did your custom I don't remember if I mentioned it's Frank Boots Frank's Boots up in Spokane Washington that built them couldn't quote you on a price because you know prices change you need to call them and uh, zippers you see that patina developing with the brass you know it's starting to wear through and you can see the copper on that I lost one of my aglets on on this and I just been too lazy to replace it but uh yeah I figured I'd do it another you know video finally this is the two-year update on these you know given the fact you know the last couple of weeks I've been doing a lot of other type of content on the channel you know with the divorce and everything yeah, it's just uh it's been focused on some other stuff you know reevaluating stuff and you know as well as the way society's been going you know Anyways, check out my other videos. Uh, thank you guys much for watching. Bye.